Hello and welcome. My name is Leon Lavatsa, working for the Kenya HMIS2 project, and I'm going to take you through installation of Diwapi on Docker and setup of Diwapi on Docker. Thank you. I'm going to take you through the prerequisites. To install Diwapi on Docker, you need to be running Ubuntu version 16, which should be 64 bits. Your machine needs to be having at least 4 GB RAM and for the installation process you will need internet. To access the prerequisites, go to your Firefox web browser and search for Docker Hub. Once the page is open, search for Diwapi. You will see Kenya HMIS slash Diwapi. Select it. You will then in turn access the SOP on how to install Docker and how to set up Diwapi on Docker. Once on the Kenya HMIS Diwapi page, move to the Docker downloads and select Ubuntu 16 64 bit to download Docker. When you click on it, you'll be prompted to either open it or save it. Select on save and click OK. You can check the status of your downloads. Once the download has completed, you can move to the next step of installing Docker. Once the download is done, you can navigate to your file systems and go to the download folder and you will get the download of the docker.deb file. To install docker, run the command shown in step 2 on your terminal. To access the terminal, on your keyboard press the control, alt button and letter T button simultaneously. Type in the command shown in step 2 that is sudo dpkg hyphen i and input the path of the docker download dot deb file. To easily access downloaded docker dot deb file navigate to your downloads and drag and drop the deb file to your terminal it will then give you the file path of the deb file remove quotation marks on the front and at the end then press enter to ask for your password input your password then press enter installation is done it will take you back to the prompt we now move to step 3 on the SOP. The third step is to update the Docker version to the latest version. You will run the two commands under step 3. The first command is sudo apt-get update and press enter. Once this is done, you will run the second command sudo apt hyphen get upgrade docker hyphen c e and press enter it will ask if you need to continue with the installation to accept press on y and press enter once you are done with upgrading docker to the latest version we move on to the wapi setup to install the wapi under the WAPI setup, the first step is to run the script under step 1 on your terminal. You can copy the script and paste it on your terminal. Then press enter. It will prompt for a password. Input the password 
and wait for the WAPI to install. Once the installation is complete, it will take you back to the prompt. To confirm if the WAPI has installed, navigate to your Firefox web browser again, open a new tab, on the address bar, type in localhost full colon 5757 and press enter. You will get the DWAPI homepage which looks like this. The next step on the SOP that we are going to do is setup of MySQL. The first step in MySQL setup is to configure MySQL to allow remote access from DWAPI. To do this, you need to comment on the bind address line in MySQL configuration file. To access MySQL configuration file, open your terminal and type in sudo gedit slash etc slash mysql slash my dot cnf and press enter you'll be prompted for your password input your password and press enter you will get the mysql configuration file which will pop up on a different window. Look for the line that has the bind address. The bind address is highlighted as shown. To comment it, add a hash before bind and space. Then save your changes. Once you have saved your changes, close the window. To make sure that the changes are effected, you will restart your MySQL service. To restart your MySQL service, you will run the command sudo service MySQL restart. When MySQL restarts successfully, you will return back to the prompt. The next step in MySQL setup is to create a user with the username Diwapi and give them password which will be Diwapi. To create this user, you need to log in to MySQL through the command MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. We are logging into MySQL as the root user and we will enter our root user password. Once logged into MySQL, run the command to create a user with the username Diwapi as shown on step 2. Should, you will get a response that the query is ok. Then move to step 3 and grant privileges to Diwapi so that he can access MySQL. You will run the first the first you will run the first command under step three which is grant all privileges on star dot star to Diwapi at percentage sign identified by DWAPI with grants option.
Once you've written it down, press enter. Finally, to make sure that the changes have been effected, you will run the second command, which is flash privileges. Once you are done with that, you will exit from MySQL by typing exit and pressing enter. It will then take you back to the prompt. Once you are done with configuring MySQL, navigate to Firefox web browser and access Diwapi by typing on the address bar localhost full colon 5757. You will get the Diwapi dashboard page. Now the next step is to configure Diwapi to get a connection to your database. On the Diwapi dashboard page under Diwapi database connection settings, you will select the database provider as MySQL. On the server, input your Docker IP address. To get your Docker IP address, go to the terminal and type in ifconfig and press enter. You will see the Docker docket with the IP address 172.17.1.1. You can copy it and paste it under server. Make sure that you have only pasted the IP address alone. On the port, you will use the MySQL port, which is 3306. Under user, we will use the Diwapi user that we had created earlier, which is Diwapi and we will input the password that we had assigned to Diwapi which is Diwapi. Once you have done that, verify the server information. If the connection is successful, you will get a prompt of connection successful to server OK. Save the connection then get a prompt to restart the WAPI service in order to effect the changes made in the system settings. To restart the WAPI service, navigate to the terminal and type in sudo docker restart the WAPI and press enter. You will be prompted for your password. Input the password and press enter. And wait for Diwapi to restart. Once it has restarted, you will be directed back to the prompt. Navigate back to your web browser and refresh your page. Once you refresh Diwapi, you will get back to the dashboard page. Click on Verify Database to verify that the Diwapi database has been created. Then save. Once you save, you will be prompted again to restart the Diwapi service. Navigate to the terminal and type in sudo docker restart diwapi. Once the restart is successful, you will be directed back to the prompt. Now navigate to the browser and reload the page. The page will reload successfully back 
at the Diwapi dashboard page. The next step is to configure Diwapi to connect to your Kenya EMR database. To do this, navigate to the configuration tab and select EMR settings. Once you have selected EMR settings, you will get a list of the possible EMRs. Then select Kenya EMR as the EMR which you want to do your settings. Once you select Kenya EMR, the database protocols page will open and you will get a prompt under the actions column to edit the database protocols. You will then get a dialog box that will prompt you to input the database connection settings. The DBMS is MySQL. Select MySQL. The host is the IP address of Docker, which we had input earlier before. The port is 3306. The username is Diwapi and the password is Diwapi and the database is open MRS which remains as is. Once you are done with the connection settings, verify that they are correct by clicking on verify. You will then get a prompt that the connection was successful. Once the connection is successful, save your changes. You will then go back to the EMR settings tab where you will see the list of all EMRs. Make sure to select Kenya EMR under actions as your default EMR. You will then get a prompt that Kenya EMR was set as default successfully.